Solving an equation with rational exponents. So we're used to solving some equations dealing with like squares and square roots. And I'm just going to walk you through how we solve these and apply it to how we're going to solve something like x to the two-thirds is equal to 4. Okay, so what we're used to doing is we have x squared. We want to get a single x. So what we end up doing is taking the square root of both sides. And I want to show you why the square root actually works. The square root in exponent fraction form is actually the same thing as x sorry, is to the one-half. So when we have a power to a power, what we end up doing is multiplying, and that leaves us with x to the first, x by itself. Okay, so the square root is same as the one-half power. Whenever we use the square root as a tool, we have to include plus or minus, so we end up with plus or minus two. Similarly, when we have the square root of x, what we want to do is square both sides to get rid of that square root. But what I want to point out this time is the square root, once again, is the same thing as the one-half power. So by squaring it, what we're really doing is raising a power to a power. When we have a power to power, we multiply. So this ends up being just x. Square one side, we square the other. So we end up with x is equal to 25. In both of these cases, what we're really doing is using our laws of exponents to multiply it to get x by itself, a single x. Okay, so in something like this, when we're dealing with x to the two-thirds, we still want to get a single x. So we need to figure out, okay, what do we multiply two-thirds by to get one? It's just going to be the reciprocal. So we take both sides to the three-halves. Two-thirds times three-halves, these are going to cancel, giving us x is equal to four to the three-halves. Remember, with a fractional exponent, we're dealing with power over root. And it's easier to do the root first because it gives us a smaller number. So what we really have here is the square root of 4, which is 2, to the third, which is 8. So really, all we have to do when solving these is multiply. Typically, it's just take it to the reciprocal power. If we're dealing with a negative exponent, there's a little bit of a tweak there. But it's pretty much the same concept as these, just our exponent is going to be a little bit uglier.